Hello students, in today's lecture, we will see the problem on correlation coefficient and regression of line. The problem is find the correlation coefficient and the two regression line for the data x value they have given 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 y value they have given 2, 5, 3, 8, 7 and also they have continued here question also find the best estimate for y when x is equal to 3.5 and x when y is equal to 3.5 so first you have to understand so what they have asked first means first they have asked find the correlation coefficient means r value we need to find then regression lines means regression line y on x and x on y we need to find here so first we have to go for the table solution so firstly we have to write the values of x here and y so x data and y data will enter here so x data is 1 2 3 4 and 5 y data as per the given uh, in the question 2 5 3 8 7 then immediately we need to check what is summation of x and summation of y summation of x if you calculate so it will be 15 and summation of y if you add if you check uh, if you add all the values of y then summation of y will be 25 next columns we have to decide based on what here x bar and y bar value means we'll see here x bar that is x bar is equal to summation of x divided by n so n you have to count it n is nothing but number of given data that is 1 2 3 4 5 so n is 5 here so summation of x how much here so summation of x is 15 so 15 divided by 5 so it will be 3 similarly you need to work out for y bar also so some y bar is nothing but summation of y divided by n so summation of y is 25 divided by 5 this is also 5 so you can observe here 3 and 5 are integer if 3 and 5 are integer as per the note or important point i can just i will uh, once again i will recall if x bar and y bar are integer then we can use this formula r is equal to summation x y divided by square root of summation x square into square root of summation y square so i will use this formula so formula is here r is equal to summation x y divided by square root of summation of capital x square into square root of summation capital y square means according to this we need to prepare a table so we need capital x y then we need summation of capital x square summation of capital y square so to get capital x we know we have small x and small y we don't have capital x and small capital y so for that capital x so you know that capital x is nothing but x minus x bar and capital y is nothing but y minus y bar so we'll calculate if you subtract x minus x bar we'll get capital x y minus y bar will get capital y so we'll go back to the table now so capital x is nothing but x minus x bar then capital y is equal to y minus y bar then we needed capital x capital y multiplication of capital x y then we needed capital x square and capital y square so i will use the calculator so to get x minus x bar so you know that our x bar value just now we have calculated x bar value is 3 y bar value is 5 so x bar value is fixed for all so x minus x bar x minus x bar so that i will prepare uh, in the calculator as so we know alpha x minus x bar value so x, x minus i have taken this x minus x bar value is fixed that is 3 i will write 3 and go for calc option it will ask the value of x so when x is 1 x is 1 so our capital x value will be minus 2 
then again go for the calc option when x is 2 our capital x value will be out here minus 1 then next x is 3 it will be 0 next if you go for similarly so 4 minus 3 will be 1 5 minus 3 will be 2 so we don't want these summations leave it then we have to work out similarly y minus y bar y bar value is 5 so you can see here y bar value is how much here uh, 5 so y minus 5 it is so you can I will write 3 here it is 5 as per the this problem so 2 minus 5 so 2 minus 5 is minus 3 sorry uh, 2 minus 5 is minus 3 5 minus 5 is 0 3 minus 5 is minus 2 then 8 minus 5 will be 3 then 7 minus 5 will be 2 so we don't want these summations we want summation of x y so we have to multiply minus 2 into minus 3 will be plus 6 then minus 1 into 0 will be 0 0 into minus 2 will be 0 1 into 3 will be 3 2 into 2 is 4 so summation of x y on adding this will get 13 1 3 then we have to go for x square capital x square minus 2 square is 4 minus 1 square is 1 0 square is 0 1 square is 1 2 square is 4 so summation of capital x square will be So it will be 10. Then minus 3 square is 9, 0 square is 0, minus 2 square is 4, 3 square is 9, 2 square is 4. So summation of capital Y square will be, if you add, so it will become 26. So we got these all summations. So we will apply in the R formula. R is nothing but coefficient of correlation. We will go to the formula now. Coefficient of correlation is R is equal to summation of x y divided by square root of summation x square into summation of square root of summation capital Y square. So from the table summation of x y is 13 we got it summation of x square is 10 and summation of y square is 26 we will apply here. So therefore R is equal to summation of x y it will be 13 divided by summation of x summation of x square it is square root of 10 into next is square root of 26 so if you multiply in the calculator we will see how much it will be division then 13 divided by square root of 10 into square root of 26 okay then equal to sign so we got square root of 65 upon 10 sd button so you will get 0 0.8062 i will take four decimal place first it will be 0 0.8062 but usually we'll uh, round up up to two decimal place so r is equal to 0 0.8 so 6, uh, 0, 6, so 6 more than 5 add here, so it will become 8, 1. So I can, and you can observe that, so it is less than 1, positive less than 1. So therefore, this is coefficient of correlation. So once we get this, as per the question, they have asked find the coefficient of correlation then we need to go for regression of line so now we will go for what here regression of line so the regression lines will go so we have two regression of line y on x and x on y so we will see one by one so y on x we will take first one here the regression line y on x first one 
so y on x is nothing but i will use the formula capital y is equal to summation of capital xy divided by summation of capital x square into capital x okay so as we know that we don't know what is capital y and capital x here so y capital y is nothing but it is y minus y bar summation of xy from the table it is 13 1 3 and summation of x square from the table it is 10 into x is nothing but x minus x bar so simplify so y minus y bar is equal to 13 divided by 10 it will become 1.3 into x minus x bar or on simplification y minus y bar is equal to open the bracket 1.3 into x is 1.3 x minus 1.3 into x bar is 1.3 x bar but you know that the x bar value from the table so therefore y minus y bar is equal to 1.3 x minus so y minus y bar value also we know it is from the table it is y bar value is phi is equal to 1.3 into x minus 1.3 into x bar value from the table it is 3 so now on simplification so we'll simplify so y minus phi is equal to 1.3 x minus 1.3 into 3 it will become 3.9 so 3 in uh, 3 3 is a 9 3 into 1 is 3 so 3.9 or y will be y is equal to 1.3 x minus shift this minus phi to the right hand side 3.9 plus phi so y is equal to it will become finally 1.3 x plus 1.1 so this is a regression of line y on x so this is again a straight line y is equal to ax plus b form so here b is a constant so again i can say that so uh, this is a simplification of regression line uh, condition is what here y on x so similarly we need to work out for x on y also we will see that here only i will cite i will take so x on y okay so the formula is capital x is equal to summation capital x y divided by summation of capital y square into capital y so where capital x is nothing but x minus x bar is equal to summation of x y is 13 and summation of y square from the table is 26 and this is what your y minus y bar again so x minus x bar value is 3 so 13 divided by 26 if you calculate it will become 0.5 into y minus y bar is 5 so x minus 3 is equal to open the bracket 0.5 into y plus into minus is minus 0.5 into 5 so therefore x minus 3 is equal to 0.5 y minus 0.5 into 5 it will become 2.5 shift this minus 3 to the right hand side so x is equal to 0 0.5 into y minus 2.5 plus 3 so therefore x is equal to 0 0.5 y plus 0 0.5 so this is a regression of line x on y so in this way we need to work out for coefficient of correlation and line of regression just for your information so you can see here the coefficient of x is 1.3 and coefficient of y is 0 0.5 so you multiply under the root so you know that uh, one more formula for r just for verification r is equal to plus or minus square root of you know that formula it is square root I will just uh, recall it is r is equal to plus or minus square root of coefficient of x into coefficient of y so this formula will use it so just for your information so uh, under the root under the root coefficient of x is 1.3 into coefficient of y is 0.5 and if you make equal to sign you will find same answer what you got for what here in the previously what answer you got here 
so 0.81 so you will get 0.81 just a verification whether your line of regressions are correct or no to check that so i have uh, told you it is not required uh, to show here just for a small verification whether our r value is correct or no so in this way we need to work out a problem if they have asked first coefficient of correlation then regression of line so there is a two ways so first is a, uh, a coefficient of correlation then uh, regression line and another way is line of regression and coefficient of correlation so both ways are different but uh, according to this question first they have asked coefficient of correlation then line of regression so this is a procedure and this is a problem to solve here also a request please subscribe my channel like the videos and press a bell icon for new videos related to this subjects thank you